one of the things I, I noticed uh, throughout this season was friends and other people I, I would be talking to about football increasingly started saying that they, on some level, they expect that we will watch a man die on the field. Right now, these hits, a lot of the times, they, they end up with, with the guy getting carved off on a stretcher, or maybe even he's, he's down for five minutes, and then he gets up and he walks and he shuffles off. And not moving much. We've all known for a long time that football is a, is a, is a kind of a dangerous game and a, and, a, and a painful game, a brutal game. What we've now come to realize is that the, the accumulation of these hits in the brain turns out to be a lot like the effect of boxing on the brain, that, that, that being knocked in the head over and over again can, can lead to uh, serious disease. In the case of football, the name of that disease is chronic traumatic encephalopathy, now sort of known as CTE in shorthand. It was in early December, I was watching the Steelers-Ravens game. There was a passing play to Heath Miller, who was the tight end for the Steelers. As he was on his way down, a defender came by and, and looked like he took his head off. What struck me about it was when you watch the replay, the replays are so much more vivid now than they used to be. And you know, you really see how, how far the neck bends back. I was in a conversation not long after it with Dr. Joseph Maroon, who is the neurosurgeon for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The point that he wanted to make was that that's, that is a hit that, the, you know, the force that it delivers to the, to the whole head and, and, and whipping the neck back, there's nothing that a helmet can do to protect that. What's happened is the NFL has become a, it's become a passing dominated game, it's become a much more skill oriented game, speed matters more, and as a result, some of the hits that we see on the field are actually quite a bit harder to watch because they, they happen more unexpectedly and at, and at higher speeds. Some of these wide receivers you know, have built up 20 yards of, uh, of speed before they get uh, up at, upended. And uh, the lesson that Dr. Maroon was trying to impart was that the only way to really make football safer for a player like Keith Miller in an instance like that is to, is to teach defensive players not to hit receivers that way. Chris, but it's one of those things where the receiver starts to duck down, the guy's coming in, the defender. You're going to have situations like that, I mean, no matter what the rules are. 